A new study suggests that the changing climate may drastically affect some of the world's great wine producing regions. The famous labels of France, Spain and California might one day be replaced by fine wines from, get this, England. I know. Here's CBS News correspondent John Blackstone. The vineyards of California's sunny Napa Valley are known for their top quality Cabernets and Chardonnays, which may explain why the people who make wine here, like Michael Honig, are not known for their modesty. We're perceived as the best, uh, rightfully so. We make some of the best wines in the world. Others say the great wines come from Europe. Places like Burgundy and Bordeaux, Champagne and, and, and Piemonte in, in Italy and Rioja in Spain. But climate change may be changing the places that produce fine wine, says wine writer Tim Atkin. We could find that, the, that certain wine regions in, 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 in France and Spain and Italy, which historically have produced wines, are going to be effectively desert. There are now even award-winning vineyards in England, never before known as a wine region. You may find the entire world of wine, in Europe anyway, shifting northwards. In America, temperatures in the Napa Valley could rise by two degrees in the next 30 years, according to a new study by Noah Diffenbaugh of Stanford University. And this can be very damaging to the, to the delicate balances uh, that are so important for, for making the best wines. Diffenbach calculates 50% of Napa vineyards may no longer be suitable for producing the very best wines. But his study of global warming has had a chilly reception among Napa's growers. It sounds good on paper. I don't think it's reality, though. Because, Honig says, Napa is already preparing for climate change. You're not global warming deniers. No, no, not at all. No, we know the, the world's changing. Honig's Vineyard and many others in the valley are now powered by solar energy, cutting down their greenhouse gas footprint. If it does get warmer, yes, this helps with that problem. Growers are also developing ways to plant and prune their vines to deal with days that may heat up fast. So we've really opened up the, the cool morning side so we can get some doppled sunlight in here, some freckled light. But on the afternoon side, we've kept it nice and shaded so that the fruit doesn't get burned. Grower Andy Beckstoffer figures Napa wines are so valuable, wineries here will find answers to global warming. We can afford the technology. We can afford to do anything we need to do, you know, to get these things right. We, I mean, they, because we have the money. People are tremendously uh, creative and ingenious at, at dealing with different environments. And Noah Diffenbaugh says that while hotter weather presents a challenge to growers in Napa, they can start now working on ways to adapt. Andy Beckstoffer is confident he'll be able to keep growing exactly what he grows now. In fact, he thinks climate change could even make his grapes better if the nights aren't so cold. This global warming is getting warmer at night which might mean we get more flavor development. So there is a chance for silver lining here. Napa's winemakers, it seems, never like to see a glass as half empty, but rather half full. Even the prospect of global warming can't destroy their sunny optimism. John Blackstone, CBS News in California's Napa Valley.